Hey, what's up guys? It's Lawrence. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Lawrence and today is February 25th. Now, six years ago today, NBC gave us a mid-season replacement sitcom, which frankly didn't last all that long. And I think it didn't last all that long for a variety of reasons. I'm going to get into these in a moment. Some of them may seem kind of petty at the end of the day, but just how I am, folks. Let's get right into this. Uh, on this exact day, six years ago, it was a Tuesday, but NBC brought us the mid-season mid -season replacement sitcom, Growing Up Fisher. Story about a family where uh, parents get divorced, and it turns out that the head of the house is blind. Now, you would think that it would be kind of funny, but it did not really pan out. Uh, I have an old, uh, one of those old making, not like a making of, but like one of those, uh, it's like a feature kind of thing where they play a little bit of the show and the actors talk a little bit. Uh, kind of like a, kind of like ramping up people to try and get them to watch the show. So here we go. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go step by step on this one here. When I was 11, my parents got divorced. Maybe like 50% of kids in America. All right. Now, first of all, I just want to point out right here, what they're doing is, for any of the younger people out there who are watching, they're they're doing a spoof of their Wonder Years. It's it's trying to be like the Wonder Years. So I guess DJ Nass drew, drew inspiration from that, but from there on out, I don't know. I think the inspiration pen ran out. Okay. Tell me which tree to cut down. One kind of huge difference was this one right here. My dad was blind. Okay. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. All wrong, all wrong, all wrong. All right. First of all, in any society, I wouldn't necessarily be giving a blind guy a chainsaw or any sort of thing that could probably cut them if they know how to properly use it. All right. You got to know how to use it unless, well, if you can't use it, well, you can't use it. But I want to go back to something real quick. This, this, this is something that really irks me in society, but I'll get back. Hang on, rewind a little bit. All right, this one right here. People, I've encountered a lot of people who do that. And I don't like it. Because they see the cane, they see the sunglasses... They must think it's a prop. They must think, oh, he's just playing to be blind, so I'm just going to arbitrarily point to thin air and see how this guy reacts. No! I don't like that at all. I really wish society would cut it out because it is very insulting to do that to a blind person. You just arbitrarily point to thin air and go, oh, it's that way. The cane and the glasses evidently are not a giveaway. The seeing eye dog evidently is not a giveaway. People need to tell blind people, hey man, it's to the left, or it's to the right, or it's diagonal, or it's behind you. You walk past it. You gotta go, you gotta turn around, go three steps, you know, go three steps that way, then go four steps this way. Be much easier, but no. My dad was blind. Okay, well, okay, we established okay, that's blind. Okay. Okay, that, that, okay, I don't know who wrote that line, but that line is not funny. That's J.K. Simmons trying to explain his character away to the people. He's explaining it. There's really no way to explain it, really. He's a blind guy who is just trying to go through life, but it's just, but it turns out that the show just sucked in its execution. Aspire to. Okay, even when the kids know something's messed up. Oh, we did the whole timber thing. Oh, jeez. Like, that hasn't been done a million times before. Should I get one of these water bras? Come on, let me... Okay, this is, this, this, is, this is the stereotypical uh, parent trying to fit in with the new crowd kind of thing. Son, Rewind it. Should I get one of these water bras? Come on, I'm your son, which is why I trust your opinion. Okay, wait, stop, stop. Stop. Why the heck is she asking him? The kid probably thinks girls have cooties, for crying out loud. 
Why would she ask him if she would look good in a water bra? Just buy the bra, lady, and move the show along, would ya? All right, continuing. I think he's just doing that. I think he said that just so he can make, look, can we get out of here? I don't know anything about this. I want to go to McDonald's. I want to get my Happy Meal, and I want to get my uh, large cola. <laughs> that must be what he's trying to tell her. Can we move this along, please? It's other things to do. I want to watch Dad try and uh, operate the lawnmower again. That'd be pretty funny. Right, yeah. Uh, basically, what Jen Elfman is saying, by the way, she's saying that the character is uh, basically trying to be the cool mom, but it doesn't necessarily work out. She's trying to recapture her youth, evidently. Uh, yeah, okay, a little bit more left. How do they look good? The second adolescence mixed with a limited perception and awareness, those things together. Kind of yeah, uh, basically, limited perception of awareness and trying to get a second adolescence going on. Uh, that's the TV way of saying she's an airhead. <laughs> that's what her character is, not Jenna Elfman. Jenna, Elf Jenna Elfman is not an airhead. She just plays one on network TV. Make her who she is and make her really fun to play. I'm just going to say what we're all thinking. That is not the touch of a mom. Okay, wow. It's almost like half memoir and, and half fiction. All right, okay, okay. I think you pretty much get the gist of it. But I think, I think the four big, re I think the big reasons why this show tanked. One, the writing sucked. And I also thought the acting sucked. There were inaccuracies all over the place. And... The other one, think about it this way. Not only was it a mid-season replacement, but it aired Tuesday at 9.30 on NBC. Can you name any show out there, anybody in the comments section, can you name a show out there that debuted Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. on NBC and has had an incredibly long, memorable shelf life? I cannot think of one. I just can't. Now, I think this show probably would have been a little bit better if the casting was different, if the writing was different, and maybe if it was animated, like if it was a cartoon, like a, like a blind cartoon character. Oh, yeah. I'd watch that. And if, it was, and if it was funny, yes, I'd watch. And if the acting was good, yeah, I'd watch. But I watched one episode of Growing Up Fisher. Fisher, just one. Just one. I didn't laugh at all. I didn't think it was funny. And I boycotted NBC for, a, for quite some time. I said, look, as long as NBC shows this crap, I'm not watching them. That's it. Because... It came across as like a bad exploitation kind of thing. It really did in my eyes. And the show didn't last all that long, folks. 13 episodes and then you know what? Party's over, baby. Party's over. We're not doing this anymore. Game over. We're not doing it. So good riddance to bad garbage. That is the show. NBC doesn't talk about. I'm Lawrence Ross, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Lawrence. Well, that's the end of the video, but before I go, I want to thank you guys for checking out the content. If you like, you can check out my radio show every Friday evening at 7 p.m. on razradiolive.com. That's R-A-S radiolive.com. Radiochaos.net. And in this case, it's chaos with a K. K-A-O-S. RadioChaos.net or NoNameNetwork.net. It's called the LRWS, and check it out. We also have a store, Teespring.com, T-E-E, Spring.com, forward slash stores, forward slash LRWS. And if you want, you can check out my Patreon page, Patreon.com, forward slash LRoss1987. Thanks for watching.